just a little update on how things are going um, right now with me. Um, I am still waiting on answers. It's been uh, almost a month since I've had the myelogram and brain MRI done. It's been about two weeks since I um, have had all my imaging sent to um, the specialist. Um, neurosurgeons and um, I'm still waiting to hear back from them I'm hoping I'll hear something this week I'm starting to just feel a little bit discouraged because everything has just been so hard it's I feel like I've been fighting so hard to get help with this and it's just seemed like at every corner I'm met with like resistance upon resistance upon resistance and it's honestly just a little overwhelming because I don't feel like it should be so hard to like get basic health care in this country and I know that um, there are so many people who don't have the options that I have and I'm so grateful but also like it's still really hard. It's still really hard to get doctors to listen to you. I, I took nine months to have imaging done that should have been done immediately, like the right away when they found the syrinx in my spinal cord back in what February, March. Um, I had to wait until what, August to get a completed imaging of everything. And in the meantime, my symptoms just keep getting worse and worse and worse. And I'm having to go from neurosurgeon to neurosurgeon because I don't feel like I'm getting the proper care. The place I'm currently at, which, I'm, which is why I'm so praying that the new specialist place will take me, is because the, the place that I'm at right now that I thought was going to be better than the original place I went to doesn't seem like he has any time for me to be my doctor like I, he's still never gone over the results with me um that showed on my imaging that I have the Chiari malformation I know that because I got the radiologist report sent to me so I could look at them so I've looked at them myself but I have a yet and it's a month later had a medical professional go over those results with me and I think that's just crazy because I'm suffering. Like, I can, I'm standing here cooking dinner right now. Yesterday, I couldn't even cook dinner. I was in so much pain, my husband had to do it. And, like, I can't, I didn't think I was, I could even stand up any longer. I was in so much pain, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to walk. Like, and I'm not in that kind of pain constantly, but I'm always in pain. It's just, I live with it and work through it, but sometimes it's, it's almost unbearable and I'm just suffering and nobody's listening. So it's really frustrating. So, I don't know. It's just been really frustrating and really hard to deal with. I had an appointment this morning with my primary care provider whom I love and has really been the most helpful out of anyone that I've seen so far for what I'm going through but she wanted me to see neurology while I wait to get in with the neurosurgeon specialist that I want to see um, to kind of help because I'm in so much pain so they had their receptionist um, try to schedule me an appointment with neurology um, apparently neurology refused to see me because of my diagnoses and my symptoms. Um, I, they said I need to see neurosurgery, which doesn't make sense because I am seeing neurosurgery. So it was really frustrating because I didn't understand why they couldn't, but turns out my doctor said the thing is, is um, if they think that you need surgery, neurology won't see you. So that's where I am. Neurology won't see me because apparently they think I need surgery. Um, and so I'm waiting, um, my primary care provider said to, um, get in contact with the specialist that, um, I wanted to be seeing and see, um, 
you know, whether they think this needs a surgery or not. If it doesn't, um, if I don't end up needing surgery, then I can um, see neurology. If, um, if I do, obviously, I need to have the surgery and stuff, but after I'm done with the surgeries I need, then I will see neurology. So, um, you know, my primary care provider sent me the referral for neurology because obviously she's not a specialist on brain and spine condition. She's an amazing doctor, um, but she doesn't specialize on those things. So she, she did what she thought would be best, but apparently um, that is the reason why I cannot see neurology at this point in time. It was frustrating getting the runaround because from the neurologist's office because their receptionist didn't explain it to me like that. I had to call them and then call my primary care provider back and ask them to call me and explain it to me because all they said to me was, we can't see you. Uh, I talked to the doctor and the doctor said that um, he won't see you because of, I was like, why? And he said, because of your diagnoses and symptoms. And that's it. And I was like, well, I don't understand because there's other people who have Chiari and, um, you know, my doctor said they see neurology. And she, um, she's like, well, I all I can say is he, I just talked to him and he said he can't see you. And so that didn't really explain to me why. And it just had all these questions like, why are you refusing me as a patient? So, and then I needed to waste my doctor's office time to try to get explanation for that. Otherwise, it's just, obviously, it was going to drive me crazy. Why won't you help me? So, that's where I am. I'm waiting on um, the specialist I want to see to get back to me. I'm also sent, um, sending all of my information to other specialists, too, just because I feel like at this point, it's good to have my eggs in more than one basket. I don't feel like waiting a whole lot longer is going to be beneficial for me. My symptoms are like rapidly getting a lot worse and um, I need to find a place who's gonna help me as soon as possible. So the winning place is gonna be, uh, the, pretty much I'm looking at the best places for it, but the one who can do it the fastest is probably gonna be who gets, um, who we choose. Um, I think at this point in time that's how I'm feeling so we'll see hopefully my first choice gets back to me soon it's been two weeks so try not to be impatient I don't really understand why it's taking that long to let me know whether I can be their patient or not it's just all a waiting game and honestly this waiting is driving me crazy I'm not a patient person by nature but I've really been trying hard to be especially in this I've been trying so hard to be patient so much more patient than I would think is possible for me in something like this but I just feel like all of my like when I'm okay be patient calm down I feel like none of that is paying off because all my worst fears are coming true as far as being patient and it wasting my time, my valuable time. <sighs> so, that's where I'm at. That's how I feel. I know it's not the right way to think. It's not like positive and blah, 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 but that is just how I truly feel at this moment in time. And I know that I will be able to bring it back around to something positive eventually, but right now I'm just not feeling that way. So, there's the truth. I hope, um, Everyone else is doing okay and trying to get answers for what's going on with them and um, finding ways to cope with things that you have to deal with. And I will hopefully update soon about what um, the neurosurgeons say at the place I would like to go.